as I was on eBay, I came across this the other day. This is a crystal radio set. Um, it's like a small emergency communications radio receiver only. Um, and uh, it came, it cost about a tenner and it came beautifully packaged in a little cardboard box um, with uh, all sorts of stuff. Uh, I'll show you through it in just a few seconds. An antenna, an earphone, some crocodile clip connectors, and um, basically in the event of like a zombie apocalypse or, you know, something, go ooh, that's a springy antenna cable, or something going horribly wrong, um, you have the ability to be able to set yourself up a little radio receiver. So the idea, uh, or what I want to do today really, is just sort of show you um, what this, uh, how this performs. Um, get this uh, springy uh, antenna out of the way here. Do do do. We'll use that in a moment. Um, okay, good. Right. So what have we got then? Let's get this box out of the way. There we go. Right. So we have uh, a little business, well, a little um, badge holder that you would probably normally wear around your neck, and in there is a PCB. Uh, it's just. Uh, Let's see if we can pop this PCB out. Uh, there it is. And uh, there's a little etched PCB, single-sided PCB. And um, it has on it uh, a headphone jack. It has uh, two tuning capacitors, a resistor, a coil, an etched coil, which is really quite interesting. Here, if I can get the lighting right, I can sort of show you that. There you go, there's the etched coil. And a germanium diode. Now, oh, you know what, actually, let's just have a quick look at the instructions, the destructions. This is a fox hole crystal radio. Um, so, getting started, plug the earpiece into the phones, blah, 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 blah. Uh, adjusting the tuning, you'll need a small screwdriver. I use my thumbnail. And um, technical description, <coughs> technical description, approximate frequency range 690 kilohertz to 1.8 megahertz. Detector is a germanium diode, uh, which is really quite cool. Um, so actually, if you look at, uh, where was it? Somewhere here, it does say that it's a Russian, oh, there it is, a Russian military uh, germanium diode. Anyway, this all came uh, from uh, an eBay seller. And um, I shall write to him a little bit later on, I think, and let him know if I'm impressed or not. But either which way, Trevor, you've ended up with a YouTube video um, about your product. So, just doing a bit of quick um, re-engineering of the uh, circuit diagram here. What we've got is we've got an antenna up here. Can you see this? Can you read it? Let me zoom in a little bit. Uh, there we go, we've got an antenna. We've got... Um, a coil which is actually this guy here connects directly to the antenna this l1 coil so l1 is uh, 470 micro henry's and um, this coil uh, connects to this etched coil on the pcb so there's another doo -doo 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 coil on the pcb and in parallel with this, we have what's called a tuned circuit or a tank. Uh, so we have a couple of capacitators, a couple of variable capacitators in parallel. And they're variable, indicated by the arrow there. My drawing is really quite poor. Then we have what's called a detector, or in this case, a, a germanium diode. And that germanium diode, yeah, zoom you out just a little bit, there we go. And that germanium diode um, effectively changes the... Uh, the uh, amplitude modulation signal uh, into uh, a half wave effectively and um, on the back end of that then we've got an 82k resistor uh, oh that's a really noisy motorcycle going past and then we have um, uh, a little output socket for a, a crystal earpiece and it's actually quite important that this is a crystal earpiece that's used because a crystal earpiece is very sensitive compared to a regular speaker um, so anyway uh, uh, the idea now is give this a bit of a try and um, see how we do what we're gonna have to do is uh, connect up um, that lovely long springy antenna cable that you saw earlier um, see if we can find uh, something that's sort of equivalent to a ground, which may involve me driving a stake into the uh, into the earth. 
Uh, thankfully, it's nice and wet outside. Uh, it is England, um, and it being wet means that the ground contact will be very good. Um, normally, uh, green is earth, and sometimes black is earth as well, but uh, we'll go with black for the antenna contact, and we'll go with um, green for the, uh, for the earth. Um, so what we would do is we would plug this in here, or once we've got everything set up, and listen to uh, radio through this guy here and tune it with your thumbnail. Now, I'm pretty sure that this uh, will have a very, very low output. I might be able to hear it, but I won't have the ability to be able to plug it into the camera so that you can hear it. Hence, I have myself a rather dodgy NX1 portable headphone amplifier, uh, which is battery powered. Now, that is one thing that I didn't mention about this bad boy. No batteries are required. This runs completely off the uh, driven power from the radio station, uh, the antenna and the ground. Effectively, this requires no batteries. It, um, it, it's magic. It's absolutely magic. So Okay, after a bit of cocking around, I've uh, sort of connected up um, the amplifier to a cable that I'm going to plug into the camera. This could all, this could blow the camera up or do all sorts of stuff. There might be some popping and banging, so cover your ears. I don't know if that's worked or not, but um, it's a microphone and um, that's the little... Yeah, I can't even think coming out of that. All right, just to uh, give you a bit of an idea then. So uh, we've got this antenna wire. Oh, I'm sorry if everything's going a bit out of focus. There's antenna wire going all the way off uh, over here, wibbling around. It's uh, connected across to the other side of the garden. And we've driven this stake into the ground here and put a really dodgy, oops, put a really dodgy uh, a connection on it. And um, yeah, so that's really sort of not working out very well for us at the minute. Um, you can just about hear a faint signal, but nothing significant. So, um, well, the great news is uh, up here, up at the house, I have some rather hairy antennas. Uh, let me just see if I can. There you go. You can see one of them going off there. That little glistening, that glistening light there. I've got a, an inverted V. Um, where's the other one? So hopefully, if we take this lot inside, we might be able to get something out of it. We'll give it a go in a second. Oh, one, two. Yeah, it sort of works after a fashion. Uh, must admit, I've got it. Um, I've got it connected up to quite a monstrous antenna. Um, this is a PL259 PL259 connector. It's connected to the middle of that. The other end of it uh, is connected off to the earth, an earth pin on the side of the this other radio system here. None of this is on, by the way. This is all turned off. So it is sort of working after a fashion. Um, if you if you uh, plug directly into it with the with the with the headphone, you can just literally just about hear it. Let me just have a quick listen. Yeah, you probably won't be able to hear that. But, uh, Yeah, anyway, so um, so there we go. Uh, it sort of works. Um, yeah. Uh, it, 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 you know, in an emergency, it's, it's, it's small, it's compact. Um, 
I'm not quite sure how I'm going to sell this to you, but uh, yeah, it, it, it's small, it's compact, it, it, it sort of, it does do what it says on the tin. Um, it does actually receive some some radio signals. You 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 can't really differentiate between different channels. Uh, I've, I've played around with these two little tuning dials and can't really get much more out of it. There's only one station that you can hear, and that's probably because the station's close by and um, quite uh, quite a powerful station. Anyway, um, yeah, in the event of a zombie apocalypse. Uh, you might be able to pick something up here on an emergency frequency that says uh, come meet us at this military base somewhere uh, no, I'm just kidding with you seriously uh, yeah um, we'll, we'll, we'll have a tinker around with this and see if we can uh, get it to work a little bit better in the uh, in the near future so the question is is this foxhole radio crystal radio set worth the money yeah, sort of ish. Yeah, um, it, there's there's quite a lot of stuff here. It's really nicely packaged, and um, as a kid, uh, I remember playing around with something like this with a germanium diode in it, um, connecting it to the radiator, the earth side to the radiator, the aerial side to a to a um, a barbed wire fence, and uh, a <laughs> barbed wire fence and a radiator being very close to each other. No, I'm just kidding. Um, yeah, they're, they're stringing some cables out and stuff, and and yeah, we we, we I got it working. It was it was okay. Uh, this particular model, um, it's it, it doesn't really have a lot of selectivity with the two tuning capacitors uh, that are on here. Um, but the germanium diode detector does exactly what it says on the tin, and you can receive a radio signal from it. I can only receive one station here. Uh, that's probably a loud station that's not too far away um, from Gloucestershire. We're in the Shire here. And uh, yeah, so, you know, in the event of a zombie apocalypse, could you hear uh, a bunch of people saying, OK, let's go meet somewhere. Um, this is where all the survivors are, whatever. I, I don't know. I'm just I'm, I'm, <laughs> I'm being facetious. Sort of maybe, sort of maybe. Um, it's it's not bad. I think I think if you were in a survival situation and uh, this was your only form of communications, you'd give it a go. Um, so yeah, why not? Why not? Give one a go. See what you think. Um, hopefully you you don't need all of the serious kit that <laughs> that, that I need to get this going. But uh, yeah, all right, uh, ten quid, not bad. Cheers, guys. Um, many, many crazy videos on the channel. Uh, go check them out. Bye.